Greetings, greetings, greetings. Hello, all of my bearded friends and non-bearded friends, whoever is uh, tuning into this video. I have some uh, some important things to talk about. And uh, I kind of want to explain myself why I haven't been around for the last uh, couple weeks. I have a giveaway that I have to address and uh, get rolling with, but it is for these uh, beard wipes. If you go into my Beardsley Beard Wipes giveaway video, uh, you can, you know, put a hashtag Beard Wipes in the comments and enter to win uh, these. I'm picking three of uh, the 12 packs which are inside here. They look like the boxes look like this. I'm giving three of these away to uh, three of my viewers. I'm still doing that giveaway. I just been down and out for the last couple weeks and I want to explain what happened. So here it goes. I went to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in a while. I used to be really big into lifting weights, into bodybuilding. I used to be a really big husky guy. Here's a photograph for proof. As you can see, I used to be pretty big into lifting. I haven't been to the gym in a while. I gained a lot of fat. Uh, I usually am, when I'm not in the gym, I'm usually between like 185, 195. And now I'm like 240 pounds. So I needed to get back in the gym. The, gym. Um, the weather started to get a little nice a couple Fridays ago. So I decided to go to the gym. So I had some creatine left. I drank some creatine. I went to the gym and I lifted weights. I did my biceps and my back. So I did some curls, some hammer curls, some rows and some lat pull downs. Nothing too extreme, four exercises. And I, I didn't think I went that hard. I didn't think I was I was doing anything to over exert myself or anything at all. So I went, I lifted weights. Uh, I was around 2.30 in the afternoon. I got home around 3.30. And I, uh, I just felt a little sore. You know, I, I felt like I haven't been to the gym in a while. I felt a little sore. So I came home, I relaxed. Uh, I went to the bathroom for the first time a few hours later. I peed my urine was like black almost my urine was really really dark it was basically like black coffee so i called my doctor's office i called the emergency line right away it was around seven eight o'clock at night i told my doctor what i did that day the only thing that wasn't a normal routine for me to do was i went to the gym and i lifted weights and i drank creatine and he said it could be you know he, i have a very good doctor let, let me clear that up by saying i have an awesome doctor so right away, he said it could possibly be this. Um, try to drink some fluids in the next hour or two and clear it up. So I was pounding water and I was trying to get my urine to go clear. Um, I was drinking tons of water for like two hours almost. I went to the hospital. Um, when I got to the hospital, I started feeling real crappy. I started feeling nauseous. I was throwing up. Um, they took me in the back right away. They took a sample of my urine. They took some blood work. They started giving me IV fluids right away because they thought maybe I was dehydrated. And they actually found out that I had rhabdomyolysis. That's what it's called, rhabdomyolysis or rhabdo for short. And it is when you overexert yourself, your muscles, and they break down and they release a dangerous protein in your body and it could shut your kidneys down and it could be fatal if you don't catch it in time. So, uh, they took blood work, like I said, and they said my levels that were supposed to be between 50 and 200 were above 40,000. That's all they knew. My levels were literally off the charts. So they admitted me in the hospital. They took me upstairs to a room and they just kept giving me IV fluids, tons and tons and tons of IV fluids. So I was in the hospital for six days getting IV fluids. Um, they did a kidney um, ultrasound on me. My kidneys, thank God, my kidneys were not harmed. Um, they discharged me when my levels came down to about 8,000. They sent me home, told me to drink lots of fluids. Said if I start feeling, you know, bad again or start feeling sick again, to come in back in the hospital, don't think twice about it. So... I've been home for a little over a week now. I've been drinking tons of fluids. I've been, you know, trying to, you know, get back to being, feeling like myself again. And slowly I have, but uh, I gotta admit that I've been feeling extremely tired lately. 
I've been, you know, it just, my, I can feel my body was sick. It was off. I'm taking a lot of naps throughout the day, drinking a lot of fluids. And, you know, I, I love all you guys. You know, you know, I do. I love all my viewers, each and every one of you. And I just needed to take a break to kind of get my health back. So I'm, I'm slowly getting back into it. Forgive me if it takes a little bit longer to you know, announce my winners for the giveaway and to kind of get everything up and running 100%. But I'm, you know, I'm slow, like I said, I'm slowly getting back and feeling like myself again. Uh, I have to go to an appointment for a kidney doctor in a couple weeks to check my kidneys again to make sure there was no damage. And I can't go to the gym for like the next few weeks. So, <laughs> and I got to really be mindful of what I'm doing in the gym so I don't overexert myself. I got to remember that I've been off from lifting weights for over a year. I got to slowly work myself into it. Um, I have tons of like fun adventures I want to do this summer. I, I bought a road bike last year. You can uh, check out my video for my giant contend one. It'll show you my road bike I bought and I want to do some races this year and some marathons and, and some riding for charity. I want to see if I can get into a program where I'm fixing up bicycles for people in need um, to kind of donate bicycles that I fix up. There's all sorts of projects I want to do this summer, but I figured out the hard way that I can't do anything if I'm not healthy. So I got to kind of try to get healthy. I got to get back to, you know, normal again. I'm slowly recovering and slowly getting my health back and there'll be a ton more videos. I got reviews to do. I got another giveaway to do. I, got, I still have to finish my giveaway with the beard wipes. I got I got a lot of stuff I got to, you know, pull together and do. And that's kind of where I'm at. I uh, I got a couple new lenses. Um, this is one of them here. I'm filming with one of them right now. And that's basically everything that's going on <laughs> in a nutshell. A lot going on for me right now. So I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, thank you for subscribing, commenting. I, I, you know, without you guys, it wouldn't be as much fun on my end. I know I always say that, but I appreciate each and every one of you. And continue to stay patient. Everything will slowly come together. And like always, thanks for stopping by. Stay classy and throw it at Razor.